Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solutions. My name is Basan and today I'm going to show you how to load data for multiple entities in Oracle FCCS using DM that is data management. So let's start. So first we go to our application. So here is my application and um, that is Oracle FCCS and we have we have to go to the navigator. And in navigator, you will find uh, integration and under integration, you will find, find data management. So let's open it. So this is our DM and let's go to setup. So in setup, you will find source system. Click it and then uh, here you have to add the source file or the source uh, connection and I already created one. I will use file, flight file. So I will select that and click save. And after clicking save, we have to go to the tar target application. And I already made one target application. Um, I will choose that. So in my case, that is this uh, VIS CNCL cons consolidation. And I will save this. Okay, here you can see you have these multiple dimensions. Uh, be sure that all are present here. Okay, so then I will go to import format. I will make one import format for myself for the data I'm going to upload. So I will quickly click add and make one import format. So I will name it as IMF underscore data load entities. I'm I'm going to load data for multiple entities. So I'm giving this name. You can give any name. And I'm going to use here is the delimited numeric data file type. Okay. So my target application is uh, VIS CNCL and file delimiter is comma. Okay. Let's quickly save this. And after saving, you have to select the file you have made. The import format file and so here it is. I will select that and here you find the target and source. Okay. So these are the targets and he, they, they, here is the source columns. So I will just give the same name to them and I will quickly show you which file I'm going to upload. So this is the file I'm going to upload. And from this file, my whole data will get imported. So here it is. So in the first column, we have accounts In second column, we have entities. And as you can see, we have multiple entities that is V underscore 101 and V underscore 102 also we have. Okay. And uh, V underscore 104. And the third column is for the data or we, or you can say the amounts. So let's quickly go to our DM and uh, accounts we have in column one and amount we have in column three. Okay. And data source, you can give any column. I'm going to give two and entity entities are in column second. And from currency, you can give any column. Likewise, we have intercompany. Oh, and then we have moments, moment, and then we have multi gap. Okay, I will again give it second column, and we have product also. Okay, so this is our import format, and let's quickly save this. Okay, so after saving, you have to create one location for this. So I will again go to location and click add and create one location. So I'll name it as LOC underscore ENT and import format is just now what we have created. We will select that. So I have created DL entities. Okay. So this is my import format. Sources file, everything is correct. Functional currency is the entity currency. And uh, I will click save. Okay. 
so location name is already exist so i have to give another name so i will name it as loc en 100 okay okay so it is saved now and then you have to go to the workflow and after going to workflow we have to do the mapping and before we do the mapping you have to select the location from the top from the bottom side and click on the search icon and search for our location which we have created okay so that is loc en 100 the location which we have created and my period uh, i will i will i will choose for this is jan 15 and then click ok okay so here it is as you can see we have the location and the period and then we go to um, the mapping i will give like mapping in this case so i will click add and do the star map star mapping you can give any rule name so in accounts we did the star mapping and then we go to data okay click add in, in like mapping and the source i will also give the star mapping click save every time you have to click save when you make any changes or make any new mapping okay it's loading okay changes has been saved then we go to data source uh, data source is uh, already system generated as you can see that is FCCS under underscore magic data this is used for the DM and then we go to entity again we click add make one source that is star and give any rule name then we go to from currency in from currency i will give as entity currency for the target value okay and give any rule name then go to intercompany and i will choose no intercompany okay so the target value for no intercompany is FCCS underscore no intercompany. Okay, and rule name will be whatever you want to give. Then click save and moment. Yeah, moment is also uh, system generated, but in my case, I'm using the cash account, so I will I am selecting cash changes in cash and uh, then click save. and then we go to multi gap it is also system generated so no mapping is needed and then we go to product so in my case uh, there is no product so i will select no product as the target value okay and give the rule name and then click save after we have done with this we have to go to the data load rule and make one data load rule okay so again we will click add in this and create one data load rule and i am creating drl underscore entities 100 let's name it entities 100 and import format yes we have to choose that which we have created so in my case i have created imf dl entities and uh, click OK and then we have to upload the file which we are going to import okay so let's go to this and click upload so my file is at, at desktop so I will select that this is the file okay so our file is this multi entity data I will click OK Okay, so everything is fine. Let's save it. Okay. So let's execute it. Okay, so I am importing the data and at the same time I am exporting it to the application. 
and then click run okay so job job has been process processing and uh, let's see okay it is uh, still now loading let's go to workbench and see if we get the fishes or not so importing is done validation is also done let's again see okay so the status is that done and, uh, and yeah we got all the golden fishes as you can see our data is loaded and uh, you can see for the povs and the source column and the target columns and this is our data so let's quickly jump to the excel and see what data we have got so i will connect the application through a smart view and let's see our figures okay Okay, so here we have the POVs and the structure. Uh, financial year is FI15 and period is Jan. Entities we have to select, I will select from the CSV file. Scenario is actual, view is periodic, currency is entity currency, moment is changes in cash, which we have took. And this is the alias for this. And yeah, data source is data ma manage data. Okay, we have to give that manage data. Consolidation is entity input. Intercompany is no intercompany, which we have selected. Multi gap is local gap in, in my case. Product is also no product. Okay. Again, we will click refresh and uh, okay. Entities and accounts I will choose from here. And we'll paste it here. Okay, let's again refresh. Okay, so as you can see, we have this data, uh, which is imported, and you can cross check it uh, with the application. Okay, what figures we have uploaded. Okay, here you can see. Okay, we got the same data. So this was the case of uh, data loading of multiple entities using DM. So thank you for watching. If you have any query, please visit our website that is bspsolution.com and thanks for watching.